foot propellers rotating in opposite directions. Gradually, the tail is lifted as the plane levels off for flight. Its position, vertical or horizontal, is controlled by varying the pitch of the propellers, the engine itself operating at a relatively constant speed. Now the first films of the radical Delta wing ship in horizontal flight, streaking along at more than 500 miles an hour. The Pogo plane starts to climb while lowering its tail for a back down landing. The twin propellers kick up a dust storm as the plane, designed to take off and land on cargo ships, loses altitude. A dramatic demonstration of Navy claims that Pogo lands on a dime. Gear crippled, circles Washington Airport for a crash landing. Death lurks on the runway as the ship rumbles in and noses forward with a shrill clatter. Ambulance and rescue crews race toward the airliner being emptied by a canvas chute in the face of a threat of fire. The skill of pilot W.C. Wilkerson of Nashville and quiet courage of stewardess Patricia Miller stand out in the tense near tragedy. Skid marks show how Wilkerson brought the airliner in safely despite its defective and useless nose wheel. A safe landing as death takes a holiday in the nation's capital.